In this video, let's fetch all the colors and brands. It's going to be the same way we did for the categories itself. So let's get back to the Redux and let's locate the brands. And we have the action for fetching all, which is this. So let's locate the component. And that is the um, add brand brand colors list well i need to change this one to something like colors or brands list but it's okay so i'm going to rename this one to brands list and likewise the name And I think I need to do the import well inside the app line number 34 because I have changed the file name. So let's get back to the app, which is line number 34, which is this. No, yeah, this one. It's now brands list. So let me change the actual name here to brands list so here as all brands yeah i think brand colors is not defined on line number 71 71 yeah this one so this one is for colors so don't worry let me comment out we get back to it very soon yeah so when i click on all brands i want to fetch that and gonna be the same way we did for the categories so over here let me bring in the fetch brands action and i want let me see if i'm looping through the data here yeah or better still guys i can use the categories itself yeah to make our life easier right so this is the category list uh, i think it is manage categories this one instead so i'm going to copy the entire component and back to the all brands or brands list and replace this component with that and I'm going to change this one to brands list. And let's bring in the dispatch. And here, fetch brands action. Yeah. And here, change this one to brands. As that. So let's see if it will dispatch. Well, I need to require these ones. Uh, for example, okay, I can bring them here quickly to make our life easier, right? Yeah, like that. And let's remove this. And yeah, we are all set. I think I need to bring in the loading also. So manage categories, these ones. And here we go. Well, let's see the error. All right, because the way we are distracting the data here. Cool. So in here, we are going to use what is called brands and we are going to destructure it like that. And yeah, so let's scroll down here and make use of the brands as that and categories is not defined line number 55 so this one is supposed to be brands yeah good guys there we go so for brands i want the name only and even for this guys you can use a card to display them so i want the name then the created at and that is all so over here, I'm going to remove this particular div. 
and I want a name and let's see the other properties yeah names and I also want the name here yeah just the name and then the created at so I don't want this one let's see yeah I like this one all right so I'll change this one to all brands categories and I can use this one as brands dot length yeah we have five of them the next one is going to be the colors I'm gonna be the same way so let's get back to the component itself and duplicate this and change this one to colors list and change this one to colors list and back to the app this is where we commented out this so let's change this one to colors list and let's see yay there we go all colors so let's dispatch fetch colors action so let's get back to the redux slices and colors and we have the action for fetching colors which is this so let's bring in let me remove this one from here fetch colors action and pass in here and change this one to all instances of brands to colors and let's remove this placeholder and all colors categories and here as colors and inside here we are checking for colors and for the looping too we are checking for the colors and let's change this one to color as that yeah save it and even for the brands let's also change the data inside here to brand not to category even though it worked but let's make it more descriptive yeah all colors categories loading and let's wait all right that is it guys let's continue in the next video